laying out the balsa wood for the truss is going to be, it's not <laughs> hard, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult um, because as you can see, there's a lot more angles than what we had with the walls. So to do the angles, what I suggest is if you take your balsa wood and line it up with the long part of the wall or the long part of the angle. Um, now this is just the one by four material. So I'm lining it up with the edge. So if I cut this bottom one first, I'm lining that up with the long part of the angle. Um, my first like, line I'm gonna draw, I have it lined up with the corner and then the top part is right here. So I'm going to identify where those, the starting and ending point of the angle are. And then you might wanna use a flat edge for this or um, if you you could score it very lightly with your X-Acto knife, right? but you want an angle similar to like that, which I think you can see fairly well in the video. Now, you just wanna make sure you cut to the outside of that line or else it's gonna be too short. So that's how you do the left side. The right side is the same thing. I'm gonna mark where the top of the angle is. I'm gonna mark where the bottom of the angle is. And then you would wanna take a flat edge and mark where that angle is. Again, make sure you cut to the outside. So that would be the bottom. Um, to minimize waste, I'm gonna come up here and do this one next. I can cut, right, locating where the bottom of the angles are. Right, and only this little piece would be scrap. And I pull it down a little where the top part of the angle is and then you want to take a straight edge and mark that. And then I would come over here and do the same thing. It looks like you can get maybe one and a half out of each stick of balsa wood. Right, and I'm gonna move it up a little bit so I can see the low side of the angles. Connect the dots, and then that little piece would be scrap. Okay, so that's the bottom and then the two angled cords. And then the webbing on the inside. This top needs to be cut to a point. So, the bottoms are right there, like the sides of it. Right? This bottom is completely flat. Now what makes this a little bit more difficult is that where this slopes up and this one slopes up, we need that to be a point. And then we've got the two inside webs. Just make sure every time you cut, you're cutting to the outside of your line. So I scrubbed it all out, and then I would need to obviously cut it out. You're gonna wanna make sure you keep all the um, inside webs equal in length or else it's gonna bow this board. Um, so try your best to, can cut it, to cut it consistent with the print. 